Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ServiceNow HRST, we are at video number 9. Okay, in today's video we discuss about HR services and few other concepts related to that. Till now we have discussed all these 8 videos, you have to go through each one of it to get maximum from this series. Okay, so let's get started. This is my instance, I am logged in as a HR admin here. So now, in order to get HR services, let me go to that table, scroll down. Under HR administration, you will find HR services. You see, these are the HR services, okay? So click on HR service configuration. So these are the HR services in front of you. These are out of box HR services. So what is basically an HR service? These are the bunch of services which are provided to the employee by HR department. We already discussed about COE that is center of excellence. If you don't know about COE, please watch our last video. Okay. So based on COE, these HR services are divided. Okay. So this is one level categorization. So you see here, let me open one of the HR service. Let's open accommodation request. This is a very simple one. What is an accommodation request? It, it means you are going out for some work, official work or you are relocating. So in that case, you need some accommodation for some time. Okay. So for that, this service is all about. So you see here, this is the form. This is the HR service name. This is the value. It's almost same as the name. Okay. Then we have the fulfillment type here. The fulfillment type means how the process of getting the service will go further. It's a manual process or you can have a workflow attached to it. Okay. So series of steps will be there. So right now it is manual. You have all these options available. Okay. Workflow is also there. So once you select workflow, you have to attach the workflow. Then we have one more categorization. You see this is topic detail and then we have topic category and finally we have COE. So this HR service accommodation request is coming under COE employee relation case. So after COE, we have topic category. It means under one COE, we have n number of topic categories. In the same way, under one topic category, we have n number of topic details. So if you write down topic detail, these two will come automatically. Okay. So now I will show you how to create one HR service also. But for the time being, just look these three type of categorizations here. And then we have description. What is the description of this service? Make the description as much simple as possible so that the employee will get maximum. They will understand what this uh, service is all about. Then we have the template. So ultimately when you opt or when any employee opt this service, which is accommodation request, a case will be created in COE. Okay. So as soon as the case is created, there are certain fields in that case. Some fields of that particular case will be filled automatically. Okay. Based on the template. So this is what the use of template. Okay. And then we have the record producer. So why we use record producer? You already heard about record producers previously, right? These record producers are nothing but something which is coming under service catalog, right? It means these record producers are available for employees to opt for a service, to request a service directly from the portal. So in case of HR services, you can request HR services by two ways. Either the employee can do it directly. So when the employee do it directly, they have to come to a portal. And in this case, it is something known as HR service catalog. Okay. Whereas there are certain uh, HR services which employee cannot directly opt, cannot directly request. The HR or HR agent or someone from HR team will have to do it for them. For example, if an employee want to register a case against harassment. So in that case, most of the time they can report the harassment, but they cannot go beyond that, right? They cannot directly involve the police. They, it is the task of HR team to do that. So such type of services will not be available to employee directly. So if you want your HR services to be available for the users directly, then you have to create a record producer. So this is a simple request. Anyone can do that. That's why we have the record producer here. Then we have the case options. So case options is nothing but let me show you the values. So again, these are some predefined actions which you can use, which you can use in your case. Okay. Like add manager to watch list. So if you opt this, then whenever the case is attached, whenever case is created, a manager will be attached automatically. So this is self explanatory. Okay. You can uh, choose it and then option are available. Let's lock it. 
then we have the HR criteria so what is an HR criteria we already discussed a proper session on that please go back and check there okay so you can select the HR criteria here all HR criteria are available so these are nothing but the group of people to whom you want this service to be available okay so if you want to have it for non us users all users canadian users whatever you want you can select here okay though it is not mandatory so if you have a need to attach an hr criteria you can do otherwise it will be available for everyone open for approval view so again these are some views so whenever we see this particular case in the portal in the employee service portal in that case how the open for or the approver view will look like okay so you have the options to set up that view by yourself it means being an hr i am creating this hr service so i have the option to set up the view okay for the approvers okay so you have four options or you can create new based on your organizational policies in the same way we have the subject person or task assignee view so who is a subject person the subject person is the person for whom the service is being used okay so if you want to show a certain kind of view for subject person also you can select it otherwise default will be available then we have the description we already know what is the description then hr service additional information so again you have the option because you are creating an hr service being an hr you have additional advantages because uh, certain things certain fields can be you know uh, more sensitive to certain users so though admin has already designed this form but being an hr you have the option to redesign the form by all these options like service table fields what all fields you want to add on the service table it means whenever the ticket opens what all fields you want to show there in this particular employee relationship case in case of this particular service so you have the option here you can select the fields and these fields will be available accordingly so just try this all these are self explanatory things then we have the checklist option so for this particular service if you want to add a checklist so that the user will be more sure whether they have attached each and everything or they are following a particular pattern okay you can do so you have the option to attach a checklist here how to create a checklist just click on new and then you have the option to create it okay so now you know what is an hr service why we are creating an hr service okay what is the record producer here why we are using record producer here so now let's move to the hr catalog so under this also we have manage hr catalog option click on it so now you will see the hr catalog here being an hr admin you have the option to manage this catalog it means you either can delete it you either can add a new catalog item you can add a new category you can assign or remove a particular catalog item from a particular category okay so you see these all are the categories okay so now if you click on new a new category will be created or if you click here let's say i clicked on employee relation so this is a particular category you have the option to create a new category here so when you create a new category under employee relation that category will be a child category to employee relations right a new catalog item you can create or anything you can manage here okay so it is a simple thing i hope you know how to modify a particular catalog item so just being an hr you have the option to modify these things for hr service catalog also so once we are done let me show you few more things here you see hr templates so you know what is an hr template now right you can create an hr template for any of the table based on the chosen hr service that template will be worked accordingly okay so you have the option to create a template for hr then you see topic categories you know what is the topic category now and you see topic detail okay so this is the table of all these things if you want to have more topic category you can add it if you want to have more topic detail under a certain topic category you can have it okay so these three things hr coe then hr topic category then hr topic detail you have to know that these are the categorizations why we create these categorizations to make the things more simple to manage okay so that's why service now introduce these things so this is all about hr service so now let me go to hr catalog and open one hr service click on catalogs here you see we have hr catalog also click on it 
so right now you see we are only seeing the benefits here okay we are not having all the HR services available so now let me click on this let me open this HR service select the plan now click on submit as soon as we click on submit you will see a new HR case will be created this is the new HR case 1056 this one let me open it so the values of these cases are created automatically or filled up automatically it is because of the HR template which we have available for this HR service you see this is the HR service okay all these fields are self-explanatory we already discussed what is skill and all in the previous videos so just scroll down you will see the checklist also is available okay fulfillment instructions what are the comments everything is available based on uh, this particular HR service so now the HR agent its name is Suzeta okay so this HR agent will now work on this HR case and get it completed you will see all other details here okay so now let me open this HR service so that we will understand what type of HR service is this so again you see we have the checklist available that's why this checklist was available in the ticket and this was a template this was the record producer if you remember we clicked on the same record producer okay and this is how the complete HR service will look like this is the topic detail this is the topic category and all and all okay so now let me create one HR service for you let's go to HR service HR service configuration click on new provide some value value will be selected automatically you see only topic detail is mandatory here why because topic detail is the last one okay and based on topic detail we will get topic category and coe accordingly so let's say i have selected account access so based on account access topic detail we have topic category as account account access control and it is coming under coes hrit operations so this is a part of operations so in the same way you can fill all other fields okay rest all are self-explanatory if you want your service to be available at uh, hr service catalog you can provide some record producer or create a record producer here fill up all other fields which we already discussed okay so i hope you understand what is an hr service what is an hr catalog what is an hr template okay how to manage these hr services why we have a record producer each and everything is clear now let me know if you have any doubt i will meet you in next video till then thank you so much bye bye